Uh, my name is Kathy Both, and I've been quilting about 40 years. Uh, I'm an old 4 H'er, so I love the fair. So I've been judging off and on for about 10 years. I've enjoyed it every year that I've done it. Um, we work with about, um, there's about six to eight judges that judge the uh, quilts at the fair uh, from all over the state. We work in pairs, which is I think fair uh, because at least you have two people's opinion looking at every quilt. There's all kinds of divisions that you can enter, juniors for under age 17, I believe, over 70. You can enter amateur or professional. So we, there's just something for everybody. And um, I just am always excited to be able to judge. When we work in pairs, we look at the quilt on the front and the back so that um, one of the things we're always looking for is, is the quilt squared up. Um, and that can be kind of a trick sometimes, but we don't want the borders any longer than the center of the quilt. So if it's going to be on the wall or on a bed, uh, it's going to be nice and flat. And, and uh, that, that's all done with putting the borders on correctly. So we see if the quilt's square, we see if the quilt's clean. We look at technique, uh, how well did you do the piecing, were there points cut off. Um, we look at uh, applique, where your stitches little and do they uh, the thread blended in with how, what you were trying to do. We look at um, how hard the pattern is that you tried. If it's a simple pattern done well, of course that's very good. If you tried a more difficult pattern and executed that well, then that's probably going to be moving up toward maybe being a ribbon winner in the class. We can pick three ribbon winners. so. Uh, Sometimes it's hard to get it down to three, but we, we do try to do that and to be fair about it. Another thing we always look for is um, creativity. Have quilters taken a traditional pattern maybe and done something different or even uh, made up their own pattern or use of color. Have they done something just really unique with, with color? So just things that we, just kind of the cream rises to the top in quilting and we're just always looking for uh, anything that's unusual creative and done very well because we just think um, this represents what quilters are doing all over the state of Kansas so we want our ribbon winners to be indicative of that of the quality of quilting uh, in, in our state. Once we do the individual classes in pairs of judges um, after that as we are picking best of show and championship uh, awards we all six have to agree and, uh, and that's good, it's a good thing. Uh, everyone gets their say and then we have to come up with, uh, with one winner, which is hard sometimes. Um, <clears throat> I often encourage people, especially that live locally, uh, to enter because a lot of times um, that's the only quilt show that a lot of people would ever go to. They wouldn't pay to go to a big quilt show but they're at the fair so they go through the domestic arts building and uh, I just think it's a way of maybe having people think well I'd like to try that or my grandmother did that or look at that t-shirt quilt uh, you know so it's just fun and um, in order for that to keep being a fun uh, exhibit or part of the fair uh, we need quilters to enter. all the different kinds of quilts and of course there's always some quilts with emotional ties uh, the quilts of valor or quilts that were made for a family anniversary or t-shirt quilts for a you know a high school senior going off to college made by grandma so I love all that and in the fair book when we enter it does encourage us not I mean it won't show for the judging but people are welcome to put the quilt story in a piece of um, paper in a you know a plastic protector there and they'll put that on the quilt so I absolutely read every quilt story because every quilt has a story and uh, and when people are willing to share that story I just really feel a kinship with that quilter and, and it just I just get excited. Mm -hmm. 